Salik announces H1 results, approves interim dividend of DHS 544. 8 meters Salik registered 238.5 million revenue generating trips in H1 2024, reflecting a 4.9% increase year-on-year -year August 2024. Dubai toll gate operator Salik Company has reported a net profit of DHS 544. 8 meters for H1 2024, driven by robust revenue growth and strategic expansion initiatives. The financial results, covering the three and six month periods ending June 30, were announced by the company's board of directors, chaired by Matar Altea. Salik registered 238.5 million revenue generating trips in H1 2024, reflecting a 4.9% increase year on year. Total revenue for the period reached DHS 1.1 BN, with toll usage accounting for 87.1% of the total at DHS 953. 8 meters, up 4.9% The company's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, EBITDA, rose 6.5% to DHS 738. 4 meters, and profit before tax increased by 9.2% to DHS 598. 6 meters, the board approved an interim dividend of DHS 544. 8 meters, or 7.263 fills per share, to be paid on September 5th. We are very pleased with our performance during the first half of the year, with strong revenue growth of 5.6% year-on-year, further supporting our ambition to become a global leader in mobility solutions, said Altea. He noted the company's focus on expanding its tolling business while diversifying revenue streams, including the planned addition of two new toll gates by November 2024 and a recent parking solutions partnership with Imar Malls, operational since July. Salik H1 2024, key highlights in Q2 2024, Salik achieved a 1.6% increase in revenue generating trips, totaling 115.7 million now the highest second quarter figure since the company's inception. Growth was notably strong at the Jebel Ali toll gate, which saw a 10% increase, while Al Maktoum Bridge and Al Shafa gates experienced high single-digit growth. Salik's CEO, Ibrahim Sultan Al Haddad, highlighted the company's resilience and strategic efforts to enhance mobility in Dubai. The increase in revenue generating trips and active accounts reflects our commitment to meeting the growing demand for efficient transportation. As Dubai continues to attract international visitors and new residents, we are proud to play a pivotal role in making the city one of the most accessible in the world, he said. Financially, Salex revenue for Q2 2024 reached DHS 532. 7 meters, a 3.1% increase in revenue from fines and tag activation fees also saw significant growth, with fines up 8.4% to DHS 57. 2 meters and tag activation fees rising 53% to DHS 10M. Salik maintained strong profitability with an EBIT to of DHS 361. 5 meters in Q2 2024, up 4.5%. However, introducing a 9% corporate tax in the UE led to a net profit after taxes of DHS 267. 5 meters for the quarter, a slight 1.9% decline. Despite this, Salik's balance sheet remains solid, with a net debt, EBITDA ratio of 2.05x, well below the company's debt covenant of 5.0x. Looking ahead, Salik is advancing its strategy to become a global leader in mobility solutions, with two new toll gates expected to be operational by the end of 2024. The company also launched a barrier-free parking payment solution at Dubai Mall in partnership with Imar Malls, and joined the UN Global Compact to further its sustainability goals. Salik plans to update its financial guidance for the year later this month 
factoring in the positive financial impact of the new toll gates, ancillary revenue streams, and the recent reduction in the RTA concession fee. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.